everyone and welcome to another episode of damn good games and today i'm going to be talking about a very special game and a game i misunderstood when it came out in 2013. this game is called the last of us you see i believe everything happens for a reason we don't have to do this you know that right after all we've been through everything that I've done. I can't be for nothing. The Last of Us is a game made by Naughty Dog Productions. Naughty Dog Productions of course made some of my greatest memories on the PS1 when it came to Crash Bandicoot. They of course have also made the awesome movie-like Uncharted series. Seriously, this studio has come out of nowhere and started making cinematic games. That's why uh, every time a Naughty Dog game is on the shelf, I am going to friggin' buy it because when you play it, it's like a movie. And when you're playing a video game as if it's a movie, it's a good thing. But when a movie plays out like a video game, you have a bad movie, my friend. In The Last of Us, we play as Joel, and in the very beginning of this game, Joel loses his daughter, and you're thrust into this massive friggin' emotional state. To add to that, he loses his daughter in the midst of a virus outbreak that creates humans into these clickers. It transforms them into these weird looking zombies that have no face and they just click, their heads click. By the way, let me get this out of the way, that is one of the coolest frigging designs of a zombie ever in any medium. So I've never seen anything like that and the sound work done on those zombies is absolutely fantastic too. They click, their heads click, it's so freaking cool. Joel is an awesome character, he's from San Antonio, doesn't talk that much, but he's a lot of fun to play. We are taking Ellie from one place to another, we are escorting her, as it turns out she happens to be the cure for this virus. Now, when this game came out in 2013, I did go ahead and buy it the day it came out, but I put it off, I didn't play it, it sat in my gaming drawer for a while as I was busy playing some other video games. Cough, cough, Call of Duty. It was not until a friends of mine asked me, yo, what the fuck are you doing? And after I read and saw multiple perfect reviews of this game, that I, yeah, I caved in and I played it. And I wasn't that impressed. I thought that, a, that another game that came out earlier that year with a similar storyline of a male protagonist escorting a female protagonist was much better, which was called Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite is an absolutely stunning game as well, but The Last of Us is a completely different type of game surrounding that story. Why I love this game is because of its themes, because of its world. This game explores themes such as change, no changes, humanity being its own worst enemy, and finally the idea of no good people on this world. We are all fucking terrible people. That's what I got out of this game. So many things we do, it's only for our benefit, Joel and Ellie's benefit. We don't look at other people's benefits, we kill as monsters. And that same theme was explored in another favorite game of mine, Spec Ops The Line, which I reviewed last week, by the way, check that out. It makes you wonder whether you're a good person, especially the game's ending. That's when I had to, you know, reevaluate my experience on The Last of Us. I'm like, holy fucking shit, this was intense. This was a work of art. And that is something I didn't get in 2013, partially because I was playing it because I was forced into playing it. There's so many sequences in The Last of Us and Uncharted when you're slinking past a really narrow wall, when you have to get across to the other side. They make you do that so many times, but every once in a while a gem will pop up. Like I remember once when we were going through this very narrow wall, out of nowhere a friggin' bookshelf fell down and, and another one of those moments happens to be a plot point, a main plot point of the game when Joel is fending off some attackers and they both fall off the edge of the building and Joel is impaled on this big ass steel rod. Stuff like that. The camera work in this game is fantastic and it has those movie like moments like Red Dead Redemption had when you walk through Mexico for the first time like this, the giraffe scene. Remember that, people? When you're just sitting there and the music is just so perfect. Movie moments, that's something which is sorely lacking from so many games nowadays, but their video game developers are getting better at that, making video games 
an experience. That is why I love The Last of Us, because The Last of Us was one of the very first games to actually get that point across. After this game, we saw so many others do, do cinematics right. And to Hollywood, please do not adapt this friggin' masterpiece. They'll leave it as it is. It should be experienced as a video game. It simply won't work as a movie. Again, you'll have to cut out so much important stuff. The bonding element of this video game is fantastic and the, the timing, the spacing, and the pacing of this, uh, of this game is absolutely made for just a video game. Do not ruin it by making a movie. This, this video game takes place over the course of a year, right after Joel's daughter passes, 20 years pass, and then you spend a year with Ellie, all four seasons. Those elements cannot be transformed or even translated well into a movie. So leave it as it is, Hollywood. I am going to give The Last of Us a fucking awesome score of 5 out of 5. This is a fucking masterpiece of a game. You need to play this, people. Play this game if you haven't yet. If you have, tell me what you think about it. Do you agree with me? Do you agree that we are all fucking terrible people according to The Last of Us? Uh, and let me know in the comments below. And remember to love yourselves, people, and hit that subscribe button, please. Thank you very much for watching. You have a wonderful day.